Hey y'all, Chef Junior's TV for season two of In the Kitchen. We are giving away an Amazon gift card, right? It can range anywhere from $25 to $500, right? But the trick is you gotta watch the whole video because we're gonna put the QR code, or not the QR code, the however you call the code that you gotta use to buy the stuff. We're gonna put that on screen for like two seconds. So first come, first serve. Whoever see it first, mm -hmm. get the code, and go buy whatever you wanna buy. Good everybody, welcome back to Chef Junie's TV. Today we are gonna start season two of In the Kitchen where I bring you simple and easy recipes for you to try it on in your home. On today's episode of In the Kitchen, we got the man that got the streets of LA buzzing right now. They going crazy. He recently said on a No Jumper interview, he good with them hands. So we gonna see how good he with them hands today. I don't remember that. <laughs> so we gonna see how good he is with those hands today, all right? Uh, what's um, up? What we gonna do today is, mm. we gonna do uh, oxtail tacos. I see. All right, so uh, we're gonna get busy with these oxtail tacos. Yes, sir. We got that SBA loan, that PPP special. Watch and the we WeWork. <laughs> Again, watch that WeWork. <laughs> okay, we uh, gonna make it, uh -huh. all right? But maybe it came from PPP loan. All right, all right. Sure. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into these oxtail tacos. We're gonna get to know you a little bit. Yes, sir. Uh, we're gonna talk about the LA Rapper Report card. Okay. We're gonna get into all that. But here on Chef Junior's TV, mm. we like to focus on the person. So we want to get to know you. We're going to talk about the report card, but we want to get to know you, all right? For sure. So that's what we're going to do today. Let's do it. All right. Um, before I get into you, we're going to get into these ingredients, all right? Okay, what we got? Uh, right here, we got some oxtails. We got two pounds of oxtails. I have my butcher cut them up okay. so they're not in real big pieces. Right, a little I bit see. quicker to cook. So they cut up. They go cook quicker. It's going to still take about two hours to cook, all right? Okay. So we got some oxtails. We got some onions, don't wanna let you do the cutting. Okay. We got some carrots, parsley, we got some herbs, we got some bay leaves, mm -hmm. and some thyme right here. We got a little bit of garnish, all right? We got some beef broth, Okay. red wine. Right. Of course, we got the Chef Junior seasoning. Got to. Gotta have the Chef Junior uh, seasoning, right? I got mine we in got, my car. You got yours in the car? <laughs> it's everywhere, right? You just take it out of, yeah. Uh -huh. We got some wine. Uh -huh. We got some mozzarella cheese. Okay. All right, we got some salt. We got some olive oil. The full description and the full recipe is gonna be the link down below, okay. the right, right measurements and everything, all right? all right? So that's the ingredients. But first of all, I just wanna know how you're doing. I'm oh. solid. I mean, y'all got me drinking a little bit, but I'm solid. Okay, what's going on? What's going on in your world? Man, just busy with work, still on the press run from the report card and okay. stuff, and just acclimating to people recognizing me at grocery stores and gas stations and right. smoke shops and weed shops and stuff. Okay. Just acclimating to this year, that's okay, all. Okay. So what made you decide you want to put out the LA Rap Report card? Um, I did it because I had saw Cool Mo D did it in the 90s okay. on a piece of paper he did it by hand. Somebody found it recently, posted it, and I was just like, man, I got to do that for the city. Like okay. this is the perfect way to bring that structure and that organization and just that literacy back into the rap conversation. Okay. And that's perfect. what I did. Perfect. I feel like, or at least that's what I attempted to do. Right, right, right. Well, you definitely brought the conversation back to LA. Um, we're going to get more in depth into the report card, but first we want to get more in depth into you. Okay. So give me a little bit of your backstory, your history. I know you was managing since you was five years old. And... <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> nah, I just, uh, I started being a social media intern when I was 12. And then from there, I just worked my, doing like MySpace pages, website design, stuff like that, tw early Twitter, early Instagram. And I just worked my way up to being an actual manager, actual PR. And then after a while, I just wasn't getting the results that I wanted from artists. Artists would listen to me. Um, so I was like, you know what, I just got to boss up. I got to do my own thing, put myself out there and not stand behind the artist and right. stand behind the client. And that's when I did the Dan LA by DJ Paul and just started my blog about four years ago. But how old was you when you started managing? Because I think that's crucial. Mm -hmm. Like, like you knew from an early age that this is the lane you were supposed to be in. I, I knew I always wanted to be in the record business. I always wanted to be like very gordy and puffy and all that as a small child. So, and then reading the book, uh, Do You by Russell Simmons as a kid. Okay. So, but I started managing, managing once I got into high school. That's when I was on retainer, like getting $1,500 or $2,000 a month to manage okay. different artists and stuff like that. But before that, I was just an intern, social media intern. So, speaking of your childhood, 
-hmm. How was your childhood coming up? You have both parents in the house. You, you, you know, where did you grow up at? Uh, no, I was raised mostly by my father. I would see my moms on the weekend. Okay. But I was raised by my pops, and uh, just it was cool. It was, you know, interesting childhood. But he had me in sports. He had me play every sport. He was always my coach. I had a very active father in my life. Okay. So that's kind of why. Um, I always strive to push myself because of, my pops was always pushing right, me. Right. So. so where did you get you find your love for music and entertainment? Um, just just watching movies and reading books and my pops playing like a lot of West Coast music. My uncle played even more West Coast music okay. than him. Like he would dig in the crates and always play a lot of West Coast music. My dad put me on a lot of Bad Boy and, and stuff like that. And I just knew I wanted to be like that. I just knew I wanted to bring the bring it all together like Puffy and Russell Simmons right, right. and people like that. I knew okay. I couldn't rap or nothing, but I could orchestrate and facilitate. Right, right, right. Okay. Well, before we get more into this interview, let's jump into this recipe. Let's all right? do it. So what we're going to do first of all, right, we're going to season up these oxtails, right? Okay. So I'm going to let you season them. We're going to go ahead and hit it with some salt. Okay. My hands are washed. Okay. Yeah. And then we got, we got gloves if you want gloves. No, it's fine. You know, I like to I like to put love in the food and okay. you know, no no love. Tell no me glove, if this no too love. much salt. This too much Well, salt. you know, Chef Johnny season is low on sodium. Okay. And oxtails, beef, this type of beef, you know, going back in history, this right. is what they gave our people to eat. Yeah. Like, this was the scraps they gave this us. Is slave food. So we had to yeah, we had but to this turn a delicacy. It to, we had to turn it to a delicacy, right. right? So this part of the beef is really bland. Okay. Right, so the seasoning got, ain't got a lot of salt in it, so okay. we're gonna put some salt now in it. Nobody right? want that salt in their potato salad. Right. Willie always <laughs> wanted to do that. <laughs> Shut up, I know what I'm doing. Like that. Yeah, you being a little bit too generous though, you know, you gotta get your salt bay on, you know. That's a lot of goddamn salt that right, you just it, put it on It looks like a lot of salt, but this is kosher salt. Okay. So it's bigger crystals, uh -huh. it's less sodium, and it's less salty. All right, well right. let that be enough salt. That, that, that's enough salt. Yeah, goodness gracious. <laughs> I have acid reflux. I didn't tell you that, huh? I have acid reflux. I got gout, so. <laughs> we right, gonna let's try good. the Chef Juni seasoning. All right, we're going to put some of that Chef Juni seasoning there. Now we can go heavy on this one. Oh, heavy, okay. Heavy. You know, not a lot of salt in there. Like Packed full of flavor. It smells so good. Can you tell us at least a couple things that's in there? Don't give the whole thing away. We got some thyme. We got some uh, rosemary. We got some enough. sweet basil. You know, you put a little bit more in there for good luck. A know? whole bunch more. That's yeah. Cool. So thyme and sweet basil. I smell that for yeah. sure. You got a little some chili powder in there, some other stuff in there. You know. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and you know get your hands dirty. I'm you mixing this. You get with them hands. Let's oh, see how man. good you are with them hands. While you mixing that up, I'm gonna get the pot. You gonna give me carpal tunnel? This shit smells fire. I'm not gonna lie. I cook at home, but I've never made oxtail tacos. I make like turkey tacos on Tuesdays. That's about it. Turkey tacos turkey on Tuesdays. Turkey tacos, Yvette style. Yeah, you see how that, look how that look now. That Don't that fire. just look beautiful before you even cook it? Yeah, it do. It smells good too. All right, so what we're going to do is, yeah, go ahead and wash, wash your hands. hands. Because, yeah. yeah. I'm going to put a little bit of oil in the pot for you, all right? Okay. We're going to put about two tablespoons of cooking oil. What we're gonna do is we're gonna let that get up to temperature. And while that's getting up to temperature, uh -huh. we're gonna go ahead and talk about this report card a little bit, let's all right? So, now you already went into depth on this report card in a lot of different interviews. Yeah, bro. kind of hot in the city right now. Everybody calling you, so I appreciate you coming over here. Got to, and, got to. And bless me with an interview. Do black media, do black press. Do black media, do black press. And we're gonna talk about that because you made a post about that. Right, right. You know? And we got Tyler in the house. You shout out Tyler on uh, your No Jumper interview. Got I saw to. that. Yep, got you got to spread the love, you Support know? Support black media, for sure. Um, everybody's seen the grades. Yeah, yeah, I've seen them by now. Who was the person that, I don't want to say pressed you the most, but came at you the most because of the grades? Man, people drop. I mean, Jason Cash dropped the D-plus record. Right. Um, I seen he recently made a post that you lit a fire. Yeah, yeah, he thanked me afterwards, but yeah, Jason Cash made the D plus record. Um, all of them was really vocal for the most part. Everybody was vocal. G Perico took it well. He was like he was just happy to be a part of the conversation. Um, I want to say the most surprising one was Kaylin. 
Okay. Like when Kayla for real, who I always tell people he's like the most polite, nicest rapper I've ever interviewed before. He was on like my second magazine cover. Uh -huh. When he came on my Instagram comments, like, nigga, you don't matter, da, 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 all that stuff. Right. That was the most surprising because I just thought he was cool. He got a C, he didn't right. get a bad grade. And I feel like he'll be an A one day. So that was surprising, but he apologized and we, you know, we made it all good. Right. But that so was surprising. We gave, you know, expected being on a B, blast, a C. Yeah, C um, plus. A C plus. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the ones that stand out, Airplane James. Shout out to Airplane James. Yep. We're going to interview him. Um, Jason Cat, like right you said, he... He came up with the the D plus list. the D plus record. Yeah, right. I mean he only had three songs out, so you know that's a D plus. But because he's such a great rapper, it's not an F. It's right. a D plus because the rapping ability is there. I think Just the only songs. one I had an issue with, and I didn't really issue it, was Vince Staples. Yeah, man, I hear you too. I hear you because I love that Magic record. Yeah, Magic record is hard, hard, yeah. hard, but I wish that was out before. <laughs> right. Because that's my first time hearing a Vince record but that I actually to look at it, with like that. What hurt him was. The beat selection and Brandon. Mm -hmm. um, I think I would have given him a higher grade on the Brandon, just for the simple fact he's any topic he do, anytime he do an interview, it goes yeah, viral. I get you, but what's his brand called? Ben Staples. Okay, you get what I'm saying? Like <laughs> Nipsey had Marathon, right, Dom right. has OPM. Okay, I'll tell you. So you, you don't have an actual brand. Yeah, you got to put. And a, he's not his brand. Right, you got to put a name to it or something to it. Is that oil hot? Yeah, that oil is hot. So we're gonna go ahead and put these in there. Um, you want me to do it? Or you no, you do it. it. You okay. the professional. So we're gonna go ahead and just. Drop those in there. So we just browning them? We just browning them. Okay. You know, professional term is called caramelizing. 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 We're bringing out the sugars okay. that's in the meat. Okay. We're getting those flavors on there, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm nervous. Like, I don't cook. Oh, don't be nervous. Mm -hmm. This is fun. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get those in there. So we're gonna let this brown on each side for maybe about two minutes. Okay. A minute or two, not too much, right? So as you can see, it's already starting to brown wow. up a little bit. All right. So what we're gonna do is just flip these over, you know? You wanna flip them over? Let me try. Yeah, go ahead and flip those over for me. All right. And remember, we got our heat on high because we wanna get a good sear on these. Why are oxtail so expensive? Let's because talk about that. Because they knew that we like them, and they <laughs> black people like they put a price on. They them. gentrifying the yeah, oxtail. Yeah, gentrifying the oxtail. All right, while that's browning, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and let you cut up these onions. You gonna record this? Yeah, we are gonna record this. Oh man. Let's actually move this over a little bit. Mm -hmm. Get you in the shot. Get you in the frame. I should have watched the YouTube video. I knew I should have watched I'm, I'm, the How to I'm, Chop I'm, I'm going to talk you through it, all right? All right. So first thing we want to do is we want to make sure our aim is on a flat surface, all right? So what we want to do is, you see this long way? This is the bulb, this is the head, right? Mm -hmm. We just want to make sure that's flat. Okay. We want to cut that straight down like that. Mm -hmm. And I'll let you do the rest of the way, all right? Okay. So we're going to cut the, the head off. Yep, just a little bit. Like right. that. All right, then we're going to peel the skin off. No, no, we're going to keep the bulb on. That's how it's going to stay intact. Okay. So it's not going all over the place. Right, you man that and I man this. Like, how this big nigga don't know how to chop the onion? <laughs> I buy my vegetables already cut. See, you rich, that's why. I'm so diddy. You rich. <laughs> you can afford to buy them already cut. <laughs> Go to the Albertsons <laughs> and buy them cut. All right, now what? All right, so for this recipe, we want them kind of big chunks, all right? Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut them three three rays, right? Mm -hmm. We're gonna cut one, two, mm -hmm. and then one, two. All right, this is gonna give us a big chunk. So one, two, one, two? Yeah. Like that, yeah. and like that? Right. We can cut them all the way through. Okay. All right. And then, yeah. So right. what we wanna do is we wanna kinda of keep our thumb behind our fingers so we don't cut our thumb off. I'm not gonna cut my thumb off. How do I do it though? Like that. So you wanna use your knuckles as a guide. Like this? Yeah. One, two, we do one more cut. All, All right. right. And that's the rest of that. We can cut that off, that bulb off like All that. Right. Yeah. And we can save that other piece of the onion for later. Okay. All right. Then we're just going to do a little rough chop on our carrots. Cut them into like three different sections. Okay. Look at me doing one by yeah, one. There we go. I posted a plate of food on Twitter one time and got roasted. We're going to go ahead and take these off. Right, we'll set them to the side for now. 
And man, this is like a tough, tough, tough piece of meat. Right. So these gotta cook for hours, all right? Some, it's some broth or something. Right. right now, okay. So we're gonna take these out. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna add a little bit more oil to the pan. Maybe like a tablespoon. Okay. And then we're gonna add all of our vegetables. What do you do? You just... Yep. All right. Now we're just gonna go ahead and saute these, all right? Okay, saute them to get a little bit translucent, all right? Right now they're opaque, which means you can't see through them. Y'all hear want these them words? Translucent, where you can <laughs> see through it a little bit, all right? And we also want to build layers of flavor. So every step of the way, you want to season. So I'll get a little pinch of salt and salt our onions and carrots. Okay. And what about this? Uh, no, we don't have to use that. You know? Cause we see that in the bottom of the pan, Still that's called soot. It. What? Soot. Soot. So that soot in the bottom of the pan is all the flavor right there. So, okay. right? And that's how we gonna get that up, right? We're gonna take our red wine, mm -hmm. right? We're gonna pour that in there. The whole thing. The whole thing. Red wine. You can drink it. No. Okay. And what that's doing is getting up all that flavor off the bottom of the pan. Getting the soot. Getting right. the soot up. All right. And all that up off the bottom of the pan. Right, and then we're gonna let that reduce a little bit. We're gonna let that red wine reduce a little bit, and this is where we're gonna get a lot of our flavors from. All right, it's gonna bring out the flavors in the carrots and the onions and into that wine, and we're gonna add our oxtails back. back into it. Okay, right, so we're gonna let that reduce a little bit, mm -hmm. add our oxtails back, get all that flavor in there, and then what we want to do is add our beef broth. The entire thing or uh, we just want to cover it Coated. slightly cover it okay all right so it might be two cups it might be three cups like that a little oh, bit wow. more all right that's perfect all right so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna bring this up to a boil okay cover it mm -hmm. and throw it into the oven for about two hours on 325 bake bo boiling it yeah yeah <laughs> all right all right what about our bay leaf we're gonna add those to that too. Okay. See, good thing you reminded me. I'm yeah. glad you're here. Yeah. We're gonna add these to it now. Yeah, bay leaf and bay leaf uh, and the thyme. Right, bay right. Bay leaf and the thyme. Yeah. All right, gonna add that to that pot. All right. So we're gonna reset, and after these commercial breaks, we're gonna get right back to cooking, all right? Right. All right, you guys, we are back in the kitchen. We got the oxtails in the oven. We making those cook for about a little two, two and a half hours. We letting that simmer, letting that bubble, mm -hmm. letting that get nice and tender. You know, we making that, we making that junk come out good, all right? Making me hungry. All right, so um, while that's cooking, I'm gonna have you do a little bit more prep work. Okay. Uh, we are gonna talk some more. We are gonna get into more of the story of Dijon. All right. Day in LA, all right? Um, so what I want you to do is cut up this Line. Line. Into wedges. Into wedges. Or slices. Wedges. Okay. All right, you wedges. got it? First, let's pour up a little bit of shot. Let's yeah, let's take a shot. Little, you know. Is that good? That's More? Enough. No. Okay. All right. Pour up a little shot, because we about to get a little. To black business. To black businesses, uh, all right? Cheers. Oh, you know, Chaser. <laughs> Some wedges. Some wedges. All right, so when did you found a day in LA? Uh, the blog, I found it 2018. 2018. Mm -hmm. Okay. Absolutely. And then what that's made you? Um, that, that's, that's a wedge or that's, that's like some big wedges, but okay. Well, I yeah. said wedges or slices. <laughs> You know, that's a can, slice to me. That's a wedge. No, that's a slice. Okay, but you know. Oh, for a chef, that is a wedge. Yeah. I get what you're saying. All right. So you found 2018, mm -hmm. and what was your first first post about? My very first post, I'll never forget it. They cursed me out the same way they cursed me out when I posted that report card. My top 25 LA rappers of all time. Okay. That was my first ever post, and they ate. They just got on my head on they the timeline ahead. on Twitter. I posted on Twitter, November 2018. November 2018. Mm -hmm. And they just got ever, on ever since every post, it's the same stuff. And what did that do for you, for your ego, for your mental for your everything how did that make you feel um i'm just you know that since that was the first one i probably was a little bit more sensitive to it by now i'm just used to it 
it is what it is. But at the time, you know, it just I didn't understand why people would be bothered by my opinion. Like, how could you right. tell me who my favorite LA rappers are? So Cube was number one. I don't remember the whole list, but Cube was number one. How can you tell me Cube is not my favorite right. LA rapper? Like, what's your favorite LA rapper? Let me know that. But to me, he's my favorite. So right. I was just perplexed by it. But by now, I'm, I'm used, used to it. it. You yeah. used to it. Okay. And fast forward. Um, take us through the journey of A Day in LA to where it became a magazine. Um, it became a magazine after certain things that happened with other media people out here in LA and I was just like, I had no option but to find an avenue to continue the Day in LA brand because I couldn't necessarily move in and do business with a lot of people because of certain situations. So I was like, you know what, what does nobody else have to offer? Print. Okay. So I started doing the monthly magazine and that was a... Uh, like 2020, AZ, no, Blue right. Bus Clan, and then AZ Chike were my first governors. Okay, so when you say certain situations, elaborate. Um, just different situations with older media persons that, you know, didn't like the way I do things. Okay. And telling people not to work with me and stuff like that. So I was like, let me find my way around it. I'm resourceful, you right. get what I'm saying? So if people not trying to work with me, okay, let me do print. And maybe I might get some traction and it worked. Okay. That's why we had the freshman yeah. cover we do every year. Stuff like that. Yeah, because you, you throw around you throw around the word old head a lot. I'm like, <laughs> oh, every time you say old head, I'm like, ah. Who said old head? I didn't say old head. I said older immediate people. Right, right. But in the past, right. mm -hmm. you say old head. When I well when I say old head, I'm not talking about necessarily age. I'm talking about people that sat and were around during a generation or an era where we were dead and didn't do anything about it. So that to me, that's older. I'm proactive, okay. like a report card or a freshman cover. It's like, oh, LA is in this deficit. Here comes some new energy. Right. That's what I'm on. Right. Let's go ahead and chop up these parsley's. You know, we gonna we gonna, we gonna mince it. We gonna mince it. Right? Could you could you mince it? Like, you know. No, I'm gonna watch you miss it. Show me it with the thumb tucked. Just like that, you know. Okay. You got skills, you can look away. Oh, you know? I've noticed you yeah, looking yeah, at me yeah. while you're doing that. That's dangerous. Let <laughs> me we, try. Don't look away though. You can keep I'm looking, not gonna right? look away. While you're doing that, mm -hmm. right? I want to ask you about. Maybe we're not gonna call it beef. Well, I right? Beef. But you had a little bit of tension with DJ Head mm -hmm. and Salas. I wouldn't call it tension either. I wouldn't call that tension. That's not tension. The last time I was here. That right. gentleman you just mentioned was here. It was no, it was did we break glass or something? Did we right, move no, furniture? No, 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 it was no, no, no problem. No, no. Right, right. He shook my hand and everything. So I want to call it attention. It's just a difference of opinion. I'm right. doing things my way, and I feel like I like. To, I'm a type of person I like to be left alone. Okay. Because if you start messing with me, I'm gonna hold the, the mirror up to you. Right. Y'all like, right. not playing LA music, so don't tell me how to do. LA journalism. Right, 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 right. That's all. Yeah. That's like another chef trying to come in here and tell you how to run right, the kitchen. Right, 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 right. Well, you wouldn't appreciate it. I just want to, you know, I don't like to see, like you said, there's no beef, no, no whatever. I just like to see everybody come together. And like I said, DJ Head mm. came to me when I was brand new. Right. Came and did the show, gave me a hell of an opportunity. Silas came and did an interview. Mm. So if I could increase the piece, not saying that there's no piece, you know, and try to bring everybody closer together right. so we could capitalize on the one agenda that we have, which is putting LA on the map. I agree. And we could do that. You know what I mean? So um, you spoke about, you made a post and it was like a 10, like a six page post mm -hmm. about um, the, the part I want to focus on when you said that we, these artists need to come to Black media. Black media. When I did the What's Wrong with LA what's Rap with LA feature. Rap. Yeah, right, with right. about eight slides. Right, right, One right. of them is, um, they don't do black media. They hold out for the No Jumper interview. So imagine if I dropped the poor car and the only interview I did was No Jumper. Right. I didn't come do your show. I didn't do Corner Store with, Corner Store with Desi. Come through podcasts, any of the other shows, the plethora of shows I went on, I only went to the non-black media. Right. That would have been fucked up, right? right, right or it right. would have been not smart. It's not conducive to business right. to only do one platform or non-black platform. So if you are an upcoming artist, it was ideal to go do any interview you get booked for that's productive. Right. Yeah. So that's all I was yeah. saying. Uh, I kind of feel that. I feel that a lot. Not saying that because I'm a black media personality or mm -hmm. I got a show or whatever. Um, I recently was on Somebody Live. Mm -hmm. um, well-known guy in LA. Mm -hmm. I was on his live. I hit him up in the live. And that's kind of why I don't approach people. Mm -hmm. I hit him up in the live. Yo, I, you know, I fuck with you. I'm, you know, I'm always supporting. I want you to come do my cooking show. Okay. What he said to me 
Mind you, he don't know me. He don't know nothing about me. Mm-hmm. What he said to me was like, nigga, why would I do your show? I want to go do Trick Daddy cooking show. What? I mean, you could have. it could have been just been like, okay, you from L.A. Mm-hmm. Mind you, he don't know who I am. I okay. don't know who I am. That's okay. You have a platform to offer, right, though. Right, right. I'm, I'm here on your platform promoting something. Yeah. Man. I'm like, but, yeah. you know, that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Mm-hmm. That's why I don't like to approach a lot of people. I'm sensitive. I'm light-skinned. I'm a Pisces. <laughs> I I'm didn't know you were a Pisces. Hell. Yeah. <laughs> nah, uh, listen, man. I had the same issue on the Dan Lay podcast. We've been doing it for two years. We might have had maybe five, six rappers actually pull up. Our artists don't do press unless it's with a person of another race or right. somebody that they feel is super big, right, super right. mainstream. Like, and to I'm me, Trick that, Daddy don't know who you are. <laughs> Trick Daddy not gonna know what to ask me right. about his music or whatnot. So it wasn't an artist, but you know, oh, I'll, wasn't I'll let you know who it was a personality. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, yeah, just I try to encourage as many artists as possible to do interviews. That's all, and yeah. that's common sense. But, right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. So. We got this going on right now. Mm-hmm. You um, got me working up an appetite talking about this music okay. stuff. Let's go to this newest list that you right. put out. The producer, the report, producer card. report card. Yeah. Now, what was your flack or feedback from the producer report card? Um, a, a, a non-logical one or illogical one <laughs> because every day, and I'm sure you've seen it, people complain about the LA sound. Right. They say the LA sound is dead or it's old or we don't have a sound and everybody sounds the same. Woo, woo, woo. So I put out a document that expresses like the makers, producers of the LA sound the producers of the LA Sound have some improvement to do right. and it's such a bizarre response I just I don't understand it at all again like, so there's a lot of a lot of F's on here plenty of F's so for you but a couple A's and couple B's A's. Ron Ron is A mm-hmm. a couple B's uh, Cypress got a B plus yeah East you know, Boys got Cypress, a B boys. Um, does any of these F's reach out to you these producers? Yeah. Oh, they all did. They all reached out. And I what was the IG, response? Some positive, some negative, some did you know, some was just like, thank you for mentioning me, but most of them was upset with their grade, but to me it was just, I hold producers accountable and responsible, right. more than the artists even. Like, to me, you're in charge. If you ask me to produce my license, I'm gonna go in my wallet, pull up, pull it out. Right. You get what I'm saying, my, my license. If I ask you to produce a record, you're a record producer, it's on you, the quality of it, if I like it, this, that, and the third. That's just how I look at it. Um, who do you look forward to if, if, if uh, I know you're looking forward to everybody improving yeah. but who's on this list that you're looking forward to like the most like okay I can't wait till this one JR JR because he just did the uh, Joe Moses Dick Pleaser record okay and the RJ uh, what's the name of that song 1am record 1am okay. flow so he has an RJ and Joe Moses record that drops in 30 days it's like okay he could possibly be next up if he right. keep pressing and come out with his own artist now. okay so you're looking forward to seeing JR yeah, yeah, yeah. next come up on the producer side of the industry absolutely he's talented he got it he got a C and I feel like he can work his way up to an A he could be like a, a mustard type artist okay. if I had to bet off anybody off the list okay that's that's why I get that too speaking of mustard how did you feel when mustard came into your workshop and acknowledged and agreed with what you were saying about the report card um it was just a blessing you feel me um all things work in favor for those who serve the lord Amen. and uh, he Amen. just he just came in and like got sent another dijon to co-sign me and he gave me a and r status okay that, that's how i look yeah. at it and if y'all don't know this is the shirt mm-hmm. the la rap report card shirt yeah. if you guys want to purchase one of these shirts the link will be in the description yes, box down below um these are exclusive so get them while you can uh-huh. they about to run out soon um, and when they run yeah. out, when they run out, you can't give them no more. No, that's what, might, we're, gonna, that's what we're gonna tell them. We're gonna end them like that. Make it exclusive, yeah, exclusive so, for now, so they yeah. can think that you know. Uh, no, no restocks. <laughs> no restocks. I don't like so his politics. Now, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't like Juju politics. But go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> we got a little bit more time for the oxtails to come out. Uh, so, um, what I got for you is some. Uh, rapid fire questions, all right? Uh, okay. Um, no, this is for no, this is T Pain. We can't do T Pain. Um, Jay Z, Jay Z coming on next week. Beyonce, no, we're not gonna do Beyonce yet. Um, this okay, this is the one I'm looking for. John, right here, right? Okay. This is our round of rapid fire questions, all right? All right. Here so, no real thinking, just whatever comes to your head first. Real quick, all right? And I kind of got this idea from you because you play a lot of games on your podcast. Love to. Check out his podcast every Friday. Link will be in the description. You'll be on there real soon. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So the first question, I ask this to everybody. Okay. If you are what you eat, Mm -hmm. what are you? Oh, man. Salmon. Salmon. I'm going to turn into a salmon. My girl loves the way you say salmon. Yeah, salmon. Because we was watching your... your, 
interview or your podcast when uh, you had to see this and say you're gonna put them on some salmon. Right, that's how you say it? She loved the way you say it. <laughs> salmon. <laughs> that's all right, you so you're salmon. Every right. day, I eat it every day. Okay. Now, if you was blind, mm -hmm. how would you ask for food? You can call them eyes. And how? Um, <laughs> like this, I guess. Like how? Like this. Oh. I'm assuming. You assume? I, I would just say, can I have some food? Oh. <laughs> yeah, because I'm not. Uh, <laughs> this is the liquor. <laughs> I mean, that's just. All right. That's a all right, all right. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Best fast food french fries. Wendy's. 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 Wendy's over McDonald's? Yeah, McDonald's don't. I mean, it, the perfect McDonald's, yes, McDonald's got crack fries, but they be trash at they most of McDonald's. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. You gotta be like, no salt so that they give you the fresh fries okay. and then get some salt. It's too much of All the right. politics. So, number four mm -hmm. weed or liquor? Damn. That's a tough question. Cause I mean, if I don't do both, so but I'm gonna probably say weed. Weed. I'm gonna say weed because I don't get weed hangovers. So yeah. Okay. Okay. Weed. And the last question. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be a little controversial. This might be a viral moment. We don't know. Okay. Okay. It's gonna take a, take a little bit more thinking. Your top five current LA rappers. Damn, you should have emailed me that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Um, top five, Blue Bus Clan, Blast, Kaylin, Rimble, G Perico. You didn't, you didn't mention Airplane James. Six man, six of the year. Oh, so he's the the, um, the six man. Player. But you know, Loki hurts his project drops in a couple weeks, so. That might change. Right, but right, I right. just need that full he, he, project. He, he the what? Second highest on the list? No. He's not the second highest on the list. And no, he's not because West Side Boogie. But personally, I fuck with Blue Buzz Clan. Everybody know they're my favorite like rappers to listen to, okay. but they still gotta see because I was being fair. Right. And I took in other people's um like notes about them being a little repetitive or whatnot. But on their new EP, see the difference, they stepped it up, they got hooks on every song, okay. they got lady records, they kind of hit the notes that I was right. talking about. On and you were saying Blue Lux saying you can't really listen to on loud when you're driving down the street. No, that's Baby Stone Gorillas oh, Baby Stone you can't Gorilla. listen okay. to on loud. You can listen to Blue Bucks, Baby Stone Gorillas. You can't listen to on loud driving down the street. Certain streets. Certain streets. Certain streets. Right, you gotta right. be, you gotta know where yeah, you at yeah. when you're listening to them. Everybody knows that. That's just, you know, growing up in LA, you know what you can do, what you can't right, do. Right. And so your certain streets, I'm not playing them. Okay. You know, that, yeah, that's yeah, airpod yeah. music. All right, all right. So that was it for this round of rapid fire questions. Mm -hmm. uh, we gonna check on these oxtails and we gonna come back right after these quick commercial breaks, all right? All right, welcome back, everybody. Now, I should have did this at the top of the show, mm -hmm. but we're gonna do it now. Okay. You know, the 42 got us a little a saucy. Little loose, you know? Yeah. But um, around here on Sheriff Junie's TV, we like to give people their flowers. Oh, I appreciate it. When they deserve their flowers, mm -hmm. not after they're gone or whatever. Right. So, we here, we giving you the flowers, right? So, we got some Sheriff Junie seasoning in there for you. Yes, that's All right. Thank you. We got some, a candle. Sensei, um, ooh. Yeah. This is my this is my latest brand. So okay, what's it called? Higher vibration. I remember you telling me about that. Higher awesome, vibration. You know? Yeah. Smells got a perfect. candle in there for you. You know, we got uh Chef Junie's apron. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. And like I said, we should do this at the top, but we right. do it now. Um this was our Cook with Love collab we did with I Love LA Girls. Okay. So we got the Chef Junie cut right, the right. love apron right there for Let you. Let me put right? it on. Go ahead, put it I on. I was late. But Go ahead, put it on. Um, Kimmy, can you tie that for him? You want to tie it? I can or? tie it. I can okay. tie it. Thank you. All right, so that's what we're doing right oh, there, right? Oh, man. Got me an apron. Now I'm going to cook this exact same meal when I get home. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> that's like you can $120 see dollars worth of oxtails you know, right there. Tell you, the SBA loan. You know? <laughs> doing good over here at Sheriff Junior Entertainment. We're gonna take those out and we're gonna just shred this oxtails mm -hmm. off of this bone. Can you pass me a fork? I can start. Yeah, there we go. I know how to Multitask, shred. Multitask, there we go. You might wanna do two. Two? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So we're gonna do that like that, all right? We're gonna put this to the side for now. We're gonna shred that up 
And after we shred this up, because it's gonna take a little bit of time, yeah. after we shred this up, we're gonna get right back to you guys, all right? Yeah. All right, so now that we got that oxtail shredded up a little yeah, bit, we're gonna sound. get our tortillas, tortillas, mm -hmm. all right? And we're just gonna go ahead and dip it into this Beria sauce, sauce. Beria sauce. Census barrel sauce. Yeah, census barrel sauce. Mm -hmm. And we're just gonna go ahead and put that in our pan like that. Oh, that one so broke. All right, get that up in there. Yes, yeah. sir. We're gonna go ahead and get some cheese, uh -huh. a mozzarella cheese. On a tortilla like that? On a tortilla like that. Get that cheese nice and melted. All right. Mm -hmm. Then, we're gonna go ahead and put some of our oxtails right on there. All right. Shit. As much meat as you want. Mm -hmm. We're gonna kind of put it on one side. What you mean? Because we want to flip it. Okay, I get yeah, what you're saying. There we go. You got a spoon? A spoon? Mm -hmm. We got some thongs. Some tongs. Not thongs. Tongs. Thongs. All right. They have much better. Yeah, there we go. Right. Then we're gonna get our plates. Where are our plates go? What do I do with those plates? This one, there we go. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and fold these up. Uh huh. All right. There we go. I mean, we played now. We played now. Look, that's why you got the paper towel. You got the paper towel for the plate? For the drain. You want it oh. off? I mean, we could, we could, you know. If you want it dripping all over the plate, you go right ahead and put it all over the plate. Well, we're going to pour a little bit of sauce on top okay, of it, right? Yeah, to cover it. Yeah. I got you. So we're going to turn it off. Mm -hmm. All right, now we're going to plate these. This is my favorite part of the dish right here. It's plating. Plating. Okay. Right? This is my favorite. This, this, this is where we get fun, oh. right? So we're going to go ahead and get our tacos. Oxtail tacos. Oxtail tacos. Gonna go ahead and plate it. Plate it like that. All right. Mm -hmm. now we want them all kind of in the same direction. You are gonna stack them? I know. Look. Stacked. All right. Mm -hmm. Gonna get a little bit of our sauce right here. Our um, what you call it? This is sauce. This is sauce. Mm -hmm. Right. Where my spoon? Need a spoon. up some of this sauce right on top of these tacos because mm -hmm. remember this sauce got a lot of flavor this is where the onions and the bay leaf and all that good stuff and the soot right? mm -hmm. and the soot right so we're gonna go ahead and spoon on some taco some, some sauce like that mm -hmm. right sprinkle a little bit with a parsley a little bit more cheese on top I'm doing it up a little bit more cheese on top like that mm -hmm. you gotta get the parsley got to yeah i gotta get the salt bay on I want you to go ahead and try that. I get to try one? Actually, a couple more questions before we head up out of here. All right, what's up? I want you to try it first, though. Okay. I know it's kind of hot. Um, you said you got the wrapper report card. Mm -hmm. the, <laughs> you, you <can't. laughs> the LA food report card coming out, right? Yeah, that's the next report. What is one of your problems with the LA food? Industry? Um, well, one, I have acid reflux, like I said, so okay. food be overly seasoned out here. Like, I don't like heavily seasoned food. Like, I like mildly seasoned food just for medical reasons. Like, my, I'll get a headache, I'll get a migraine if I eat something too salty. Right. And then, two, just customer service, obviously. That's right. going to be a big part of right, right, yeah. the customer pork. Service. I feel like that's going to drop people great now. Kind of right. how consistency dropped a lot of rappers great now. Customer service is going to drop a few restaurants great stuff. Okay, okay. Yeah. So what about the pricing? Pricing is a category on it as yeah. well. But like we were just talking about, LA food is expensive, so you gotta be a baller to eat out right. on a consistent okay, basis out here, so yeah. Okay, okay, so how do you like the taco? Fire, Go I ahead just want some hot sauce. Just want some hot sauce? I want some hot sauce, but yeah, okay. fire. All right. I can't tell you what it tastes like. Oh, crap, but it's good. But it's good. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. There you have it, everybody. This was the Day in LA interview on Chef Juni TV on In The Kitchen. We talked about the report card. Yes, sir. We talked about the new report card coming up. Mm -hmm. We talked about the beefs, not really beefs, but we talked about issues in the industry. Mm -hmm. Talked about where you came from, how you came up, and yeah. all this good stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So I wanna ask you, how was your experience here today? Oh, 10 out of 10, I love it. 
Um, I knew from the first time I met you that I wanted to cook with you. So you taught me how to chop an onion, how to uh, mince parsley, how to make um, oxtails and different stuff like that. I'm, I'm perfectly man. Okay. I'm sad. Right. Well, I got your check later for you for saying that. Okay. So. <laughs> uh -huh. um, that's going to be it for this episode of In the Kitchen. Like always, if you made it to this part of this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment down below if you guys want to see me do any recipes. Tag your favorite LA artist, and we out of here, all right? Yep. Peace.